And we're going to talk about some things. We're going to talk about some things, okay? So we are going to get comfy. So I came to everybody today. I'm wearing my beautiful, like I am right now, I am so digging on my skirts that I've made as a skirt, but it has become a dress. And it is a, such a beautifully comfortable dress. And the color is super fly too. Okay. We're going to have a nice chit chat. I want this to be a, um, a lovely exchange. So, you know, you're invited. It's a dialogue, not a monologue or a soliloquy. Although at times it may sound like a soliloquy, it is a dialogue. So let's get cozy. Let's get cozy. All right, ladies. I'll let you get, hey, Nicole, come through, ladies, come through. So yes, I wrap my hair a little differently today. It's not I used to wear more when I was a roster woman. So, what am I attracting? And more importantly, why am I attracting it? I know that it's the changes in me. Oh, and let's talk about let's talk about this black. Let's talk about this black. Can't really see it, but that's black love. <laughs> We talking about that black love, that black love, or that love black. And whatever way you put it, it's a beautiful thing. All right, so we talk about this black love, but no, today we actually, yeah, we are talking about black love in a different kind of way. But I'm gonna let y'all get on, cause I gotta talk to y'all about this one. You know, I had a reading, and the reading said something, but it's something about my business and how the people who are watching you, not all of them, because most, a lot of y'all that watch me are my customers, so I know, and I'm just so thankful for y'all, will not be my only customers, and my customers will be coming from other places as well. There's nothing wrong with that. It's a good thing to know that you're going to have a reach that's going to be far beyond just even the people who catch you on YouTube or your YouTube family. So I was thinking about this, because it it's comical, you know, it's like uh, it's like prosperity and abundance, right? So that's what we're focused on. That's our focus for our 21 days in meditation. We are focused on prosperity and abundance. And I feel like when you focus on something and you got to do healing around it, it's almost like I don't use test it as if God don't have nothing else. The Most High don't have nothing else better to do than test you and see how you're going to slip up. I think the testing, when people now say that, I understand that in a different way. It means it's almost like it's your spirit knocking on the door and saying, in order to have what you really want, these are some barriers that are in the way and they need to be knocked down. And you're gonna, be, you're gonna have a chance to knock them down. So if you're knocking barriers down on the internal level, then normally you would have to show up that you would have to knock barriers down in the external level. It just makes sense. And one of the things that I think that spirit wants from you, from you, is clarity. You need to be clear. You need to know what you know and know how you know it and why and other. You need to know. And you need nobody to tell you. You don't need to falter off or move away from. You got to know that you know. So it's interesting that this happens. Hey, if you're not a designer, maybe this happens to you in another way so you'll understand it another way. But as a designer, I, w I would love to know if other designers go through this. You will get on a channel and you will show exactly what you have and somebody else will ask you if you got something else. And it's weird to me because I wouldn't, if you were showing me something, then I'm going to assume that that's what you got. I'm not going to assume that you would have something else. But I think those things happen because it's about you. I kept thinking of the word, the word that I, I got when I got off the last video, the word that I kept thinking was integrity, integrity, integrity. And I think in this world, it's not just in the design world, it's in this world, the you, your universe is always gonna ask you how much integrity do you have? In other words, how much do you want, how much do you want what you say that you want? How much you say you're this way, you, you know, how, do you speak up? When somebody says something that is not you or describes you in a way, do you correct them? Do you know what you want? Do you know what you want? Do you know who you are? Do you know where you're going? 
I'm new in my business, but I clearly know what I do want to do and don't want to do. And it might just be for me to educate my consumer or educate my viewers or just educate myself first. And I feel like, since we're in prosperity and abundance, I know this has something to do with it. What are you willing to do for the money? Are you willing to do anything? You would sell your soul, just not do, because making something that other people say they want when I don't even have it on the website, that would be selling my soul. I can't get every sale. Every sale is not for me. That's why I will gladly send somebody somewhere else and I don't have no problem with it because I don't feel like I'm missing out. I'm only missing out if I'm not doing what I love and then you love that. So I was thinking about this idea of integrity. That as you age, Fabulous Over 50, I feel like you get more of that. Or you're willing to show that. Or you're willing to have it and let people know. No disrespect to you. I love that idea. It's just not my idea. So no, I won't be able to do that. Well, I know... My price is my price, so I'm not going to come down, so I'm just not willing to do that. It's like, say it, mean it, and you won't even have to say it anymore. You know, even business is about a spiritual. If you want to attract the perfect customer, well, you got to be that perfect point of attraction to attract the perfect customer. If you wishy-washy about what you will or will not do, this is not, we're not just talking about me, we're not just talking about design. If you don't give a straight answers, if you wishy-washy, if you say yes, no, you mean no, nobody's gonna believe you and nobody's gonna wanna be around you because they're gonna think either you are wishy-washy or, or they're gonna take offense to the fact that when you did say no, because you didn't say no from the beginning. This business helps me so much because it forces me to say no to answer things I say yes. I mean, there might be times I have very little maybe in my bank account, but this is the first time in, I feel like in my whole life I've done it, but I've done it after I said yes. And then I said yes so much that when I said no, I would get the client or the customer very upset. Now I say no right away. I do, I, I'll get better. Sometimes I slip out, I slip a little bit. And I'll be like, oh yeah, we can do that. And then I go, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 we can't do that. No, we can't do that. I, I'm not, I'm not doing that. I'm too old for this. And when I say old, oh, there's a point in our lives where we got to say, no, I don't want that. No, I don't want to do that. No, don't add that. No, 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 not that. And know that you know what you want. 50 plus should mean you know what you want. And I was thinking, though, lately, though, like I said, the person that thought my price was too high, the second person that kept seeing what I was showing but kept asking me about some other stuff that I don't even have that I didn't even make. And wasn't really understanding that I don't do it. And it's not her fault. It's, it's the, I'm not communicating myself in the way that I should. I have something in my energy that is not solid. And if it's not solid, that's when you get those people that will try to say, well, she, I, could, I could sway her. Not knowingly, not trying to play a game. And so what I'm, I'm working on is being very clear and very solid about what I do and what I don't do. And it's not just in my, in my uh, business. It's not just in what I'm doing for my fashion. It's in my entire life. No, I don't want that. No, I don't like that. No, I don't do that. And I'm not going to wave all the money you want. I ain't going to do it. I feel like 50 plus, you should be knowing that you got more years behind you, maybe, than you do ahead of you, possibly. Depending on what quantum field you want to walk into, what field. And life is to be enjoyed. You can't enjoy it being somebody else or being somebody that you not never will be. Some of us, we say, breaking the habit of becoming ourselves, of overcoming ourselves, breaking the habit of being ourselves. We ain't going to get to who we are because who we are right now is so fake. Oh, we're not going to get to who we want to be because who we are is not who we want to be. Some of us have a problem with letting go of ourselves. We, don't, we have a problem with knowing that ourselves is not even ourselves. Ourself is not even ourself. Most of us, we say is ourself. Part of ourself is not being ourself. I say, oh, myself is I don't really know myself. We gotta be ourselves, but we gotta sit in meditation to understand who we are. 
and we got to find ways not, I don't think, to tiptoe over it. Just be straight and clear and like, I don't do this. You know, I'm not that person. Sorry. I'm not even sorry, though. You can't be sorry for being who you are. You can't be sorry for what calls your soul calls to you. You can't be sorry for that. You got to know. Like, I don't, I don't like that. I don't do that. It's not me. But I think that people don't understand. And so then I wonder if it's me. Is it because you can come on my YouTube channel so you just think that I'm your friend like that? And, or you just don't really understand where I'm going? Or you never met anybody like me before, so it's unusual? You know, I, I love, because I remember I used to get, this is my karma too, you know. I remember I used to get so upset with my ex because of what I was working at the time. You know, he wasn't. And people would ask him to do stuff and he'd be turning it down. Be like, did you just turn it down? We need full money. You know, he's an artist. He said, I can't do that, what they're asking. I, I'm not that person. I can't. I remember like little things. He didn't want his art on cups and, and, and uh, refrigerator magnets. He was just like, I can't do that with my art. And he wouldn't, and people wanted him because he drew, you know, he's an he's a artist, a visual artist. And they said, hey, here's a picture of me. Can you do this? Oh, that was, he couldn't do it. He just, he tried and he just couldn't do it. Or they wanted him to make another painting. He made one painting. That's all he had. I thought, could you make another one like that? He was like, but that was spirit moving through me. I'll never be able to make another one like that, which is very African, by the way. And I, I couldn't understand it because I didn't understand that I was an artist myself. It's like doing the same video I did yesterday. I can't do the same video I did yesterday, nor will I be able to do this video tomorrow. But I didn't understand that because I, I didn't understand what I was doing was art. And it was artistry. But now I do, because now I'm very much into doing, creating my own art. I can't do it. I can't do that thing. Everything I do in Ghana is based on Ghana, and it's based on where I am. It's not based on where you are. It's based on where I am. And what I mean by that is I got insight. I know things about procedures now. I know things about fabric. I know things about what buying and selling and what is true and what's not in some ways. I don't know everything. I've been a year, over a year. But more than that, I know myself. And it hasn't been just Americans that will ask me. It's, it's not even that many, so they ask me to do things that I don't do. I don't mind, because some people say, oh, I didn't know, and that's fine. They still buy it, and I love it. But it's even, I remember, like I said, you know, working with certain people, well, they, they just, you know, give them that. Or go, no, I'm not going to just give them that. Or just put that on. What do you think about this? No, that's a catch. That's what you'll sell to the tourists. I'm not selling that. I'm not selling that. See, if they like this, did you make it? No, I don't want to sell it. There's so many people here that can make stuff with their hands, and then I'll sell that. But now I'm at the point, I don't want to sell everything. I can't sell everything Africa makes. I can't sell everything Ghana makes. It's impossible. If I didn't carve it, I'm not selling it. If I didn't make the mask or design it, I'm not selling it. There's places that sell masks. It's not me. I don't sell masks. I don't sell other people's stuff. I don't sell stuff I didn't make, didn't design. That's what I say about making, that I did not sit and say, let's do, I want to, I don't do it. I don't know why I can't do it. I, I, I can't do it. It's like a waste for me. It's like if I give the thing, so I got Esther to sew something. I'd be more excited about sewing my design that I only saw in my mind and then on paper, but I, I want to see it for, to fruition. I want to hold it in my hand. That's the most exciting, that's more exciting than actually holding it in my hand, is the anticipation. But when she's making something that somebody else is not even my designer, I just get it and say, okay, here's for the person, and I don't want to do that to you or me. I want you to have my full cosmic magnetic energy. But let me tell you where I learned that, and I'll tell you, I, I think it's always been in me. I don't mess with no other artist game, so I don't expect nobody to mess with mine. I don't. I, I mean, most of the stuff that I've created, I give it to you. I give it to you with the instructions I want, and then I say, hey, let me see what you do. In other words, let's co-create. Because I know when your needle hits the, th the, the, the and that thread hit the, in the fabric, it's going to be something going to go through you too. I'm going to allow for that. You know, I, uh, what was I thinking? 
I was thinking of everything, the sneakers, I give the guy the fabric. I don't say I want this to go exactly, I want the line to line up right there. I want this on the sneaker, work it out. But the Afrocentric home design, this green uh, head wrap on the shoes. I already knew what I wanted, but he ain't no dummy, so this is what he said, I'll show y'all. So you know it's got the Afrocentric home design logo, it's got the Afrocentric home design logo, you know. He's like, yeah, just give me the whole thing, this way I can make sure that the Afrocentric home design will show. He ain't stupid, he already know what we wanted. I knew he would figure it out, I don't even tell him every day in detail. So, my daughter, I wanted to say, wait till you see the Oracle cards. My daughter did the first Oracle card, and the first one is birth. And the birth Oracle card is very amazing. My daughter, oh my God, I just told her birth, I told her the 11 cards and the names of the 11 cards. And the first one was birth. I said, so feel it. Yeah, that's the kind of artist I am. You God, just like me. So I want you to do what I want, I do. But I, since I'm bringing, giving it to you, when you get me to do something for you, since I'm giving it to you, and knowing you're an artist too, then okay, make it, I want, I need to feel it. She brought me something. I mean, I didn't quite know what I was thinking on the birth, but I, I was probably gonna go very literal and just have somebody look like they give me birth. She had the birth coming from here because I'm cosmic. We got on this card, we got the planets, we got the, the moon, we got cosmos, we got stars. In the... It's so me that my daughter, it makes me cry, y'all. It's so me. It is the depth of me. It is everything y'all know about me, the way y'all see me. It is so me. When you get that, that's the blessing, the blessings. You know, my bad man's the same. He's, he knows where I'm going. He knows me. He, he knows me through the art. He knows me through my designs. He knows me. He knows me. I say I want a red, gold, and green bag. I want, I, and all I want is the color on this to be one color. Or, oh no, I didn't even say that. I said, you can do whatever you want. I said, I don't mind if the red, gold, and green goes this way or the red, gold, and green goes that way. Feel it. But I need that red, gold, and green. And I gave him what the bag should be shaped. And more of very much of the details. Let me see how you do this. He came with this one. I said, I love it. I love what you did. It's beautiful. That's how I pitched it. He said, well, I feel like I know you. You do. Because the first few times he was trying to do the pyramid bag, I wasn't sure about him. I was like, oh, I don't know. I don't know if he's gonna get this. But we had to get we I think I gave it back a few times. Well, I did so many versions. I'm looking at the first one. But by the time he got to that fourth one, oh my gosh. Perfection. He perfect the whole book, perfection. That's why I gotta give him another one. I gotta keep him on his toes. But he knows and, and knows that I'm he knows I'm bringing him something totally different. Because if it's somebody here, they're gonna bring them the same stuff that sells because that's what that specific place does is it tries to sell stuff. But he respects my artistry. He knows I don't ever fight with him. He doesn't ever do anything I don't want because he knows that we are what I want and what I like and where we want to go. We discuss it. It's a wonderful thing to work with artists real true artist and he's a true artist and he's proud of it and runs in his family and there's, there's something to that my airy man that's why i love him he gets it even if he don't get it he tries to get it he wants to get it i want to do what you that's what you then he called me like this is so different this is so unique this is so new that everybody else called me like where you get that from he tell him don't give my stuff to nobody else nor do i want nobody else's stuff on the other hand like i said i walk into my bag man like somebody got my fabric. I said, oh, they are done with my fabric on their bag. He said, yeah, they saw me making, they wanted me to make your bag, but I told them I would not do that. And then they said, well, can you at least tell me, well, just tell me that she get the, the, the fabric come from the shop that's in there. He said, yeah, because I mean, it's true. So it ain't nothing like my bag, it's fine. But 
when I look at her bag, or I look at whoever bag it is, or I look at some of the other bags we make, some of the bags are cute. I go, that's a nice bag. I said, but I don't want it. I don't want the bag. I don't want nothing about, I mean, why? Like, it's, it's too much God out here. It's too much God in here. It's too much God in you, too much God in, It's too much God in creation for us to be having to take somebody else's stuff. Like, why are we going to do that? I mean, not a model, not the hobo bag or the tote bag or the backpack. Okay, those are, those are structures. But what we do with them, we ain't got to do all that to say. I gotta birth it. I gotta carry it like the birth. But the birthing comes from the ethers. That's how my daughter did it. The birthing was coming from the ethers. Because it's true. That's what births us. The Dogon said that. They were the first one to, to identify Star Series B. The first one to say, not the first, but the ones that we come from the stars. They understand where God lives and where they come from, where everything that, that they get, it comes down into you. But if you give me something for you to make, it go, it went down into you. It didn't go down into me. I can't take yours. That's not mine. That's yours. I don't want it. You never got me. If I do something else, do it's a goddamn coincidence. I promise you. I, I respect that person for what they do. Maybe because I want to be respected for what I do. But I think it's the universe giving me an opportunity to be clear. Because I did used to say, I mean, no, in the beginning, I didn't even know how I got here. You already know that. It's like, in the beginning, I didn't know I was going to design. It wasn't designing at first. I was wearing stuff. Your life, I was like, oh, I can get you one too. Because you asked me, can you give me one? I was like, yeah, I can get you one. And then I don't think that lasted too long, did it? Like, when I really think about it, I don't think me selling other people's stuff lasted long. I bought all that first jewelry to sell, and it never got out. And then I started just giving it away free to my people who bought it. <laughs> Spending the story to mouth, because it wasn't, it wasn't from me. But I'm going to be clear. But I always think about it. I say, I, I don't know. I got to start hanging out other designers. I don't know other designers if they have the same issue that somebody wants them to I mean, I think it's more, it, it, it's, it's confusing more when you show what you have and they go, can you make me this? Did you see me pull that out? Like, is that on my website? Because I don't have that. But I think what people think is they don't see you that it's like a, it's not like it's just, it's a, it's a, it's a God given, oh no, creation. And see, the God, the divine, got to give it to you, and then you birthed it. And it's frustrating as hell not to be able to, people to understand that. I can't birth your baby. This is my birthing. It's the only thing I can do. I can't do, I don't know how to do your baby. I, your baby, I, I, I could never be a surrogate mother because I can't carry somebody else's baby. Because if I carry it, it's going to feel like it's mine. And if it don't feel like it's mine, I ain't going to want it. And who would want to just leave a baby out there like that? You carry it, you don't want it? It's very spiritual for me, y'all. Everything I do is spiritual, from the food that I eat, to the clothes that I wear, to the words that I speak. I can't do what you want me to do. Every time, too, a lot of times when I sell other people's stuff, it don't work out. It's too small, it don't fit. It don't look like it did on me with the bracelets. I mean, two people was like, but that's, I want the bracelet. You got me like, this is, I measured it and everything. I admit though, the bracelet don't look like the bracelet I had on. I, I admit it. I admit it. That bracelet, y'all liked, a lot of y'all liked that bracelet. It wasn't just me. The, I wore them today for the first time. The one that was light, but they turned brown. Yeah, it looked like they swelled. Maybe they did. I measured mine, measured it. It's the same size. Why it don't look the same? Because you got to wear it and let it be what it looked like on you. Leather breathes, honey. It's alive. That is an animal now. Let's just call it what it is. Vegan. I know I'm a vegan, but I'm going to tell you the truth. I ain't that kind of vegan, apparently. It's an animal. It moves. It breathes. It has life, even though the skin is gone. Because here, things are different. The connection that they have. The thing did turn. It turned color, and then it swelled, I guess. I don't know. I agree with you. It didn't look like, I don't think it looked like that when I got it either, but it took a life form. It's life. 
But every time I tell something of somebody else's, I'm telling you, I, I'm thinking about it now, it almost never works. Every single time. It didn't work because they expected to look. I understand that. I would want that too. I want what you got on. Okay, well, my wrist, another thing. Look at the, you ever look at the, this? Look at, wait, look at this. I mean, there's room. I'm, I don't know that many people that got a wrist this skinny. First of all, I'm not saying they don't exist. Maybe it's models. I'm skinny as what? So it ain't going to look the same anyway, but you want it to look the same. I don't know. Shit is magical. I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. I can't sell other people's stuff. If I'm ever going to sell another... Because I want to do something with the Batakari. I love the Batakari, but I want to do something they ain't even done. Like, damn... I mean, somebody had to, you know, was a fence, not nobody I know, but with the kente, I guess, on the, it made into clothes. Watch, watch what I'm going to do with the Batakari. It ain't going to look, what I can't do what they do. I got to do what I do. I can't even do what the tradition says. If it, I then I don't want to do it, then I'll do something else. I got to sell what is mine. And then it will magically get there, and it will magically arrive, and it will magically be perfect, and it will magically be for you. This ain't no, I, it ain't no one size fit all, I mean, situation. I mean, that's, that's metaphorically speaking. I can't, so I'm make it clear here. I don't sell, I try, you see, I try not to even wear things that's not mine. Have you noticed? Because then it won't be a mix up. Because I understand if I wear it, then people want it. And it's okay, because I want you to want it. Now, this ain't no ungrateful system. But I do my best not to wear because I don't really want to wear other people's stuff. Even when I bought the jeans, I put the GME on there. I got to, I got to. Got to if it's something that's already out there, I got to change it. You see with the two-piece sets, I got to break the sets. Actually, all the tops, I'm about to give away all the tops. I just thought about it because now I made my own tops. I like my tops with the skirts. I don't want, and I can make my own, actually, I can make my own pencil-type skirts. Esther said it today. Do you want to just make your own pencil-type stretch skirts? That's why I could. So I'm not even stuck at that as all. I'm probably gonna get them all away, but I like this skirts. They already made. I'm gonna make my own. Uh, she she said it. She said if you want, right? Since we're making the shorts into uh, with your fabric and your G, I mean, what was it? It was uh, with the Amazon Home Design. She said you want to make it with your stuff and make the skirts. And you're, yes, I do. Can you imagine having a that that a dink right head neck, which is that circle, circle, circle vortex right in the middle of your skirt, or that sole. In the middle of your top, or that Sessa Wosubon transformation. I got another idea that just came to me. Another idea that just came to me. It's new hair wraps coming in the fall. Gotcha. That's how I got to come. If it don't, it's okay. I know people will still watch and, they'll, and I'll show you a whole line. You go, but do you make this up? Can I get. I got seven colors, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and gold. Do you have, do you have, I don't know, I mean, I cover so many colors, I can't even say somebody will think of one, periwinkle, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even really know what periwinkle is. You got periwinkle? No, I got red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and gold, violet. That's it, seven colors. Nothing else? No, sorry, don't have it. Can you make that, but can you make it with two more pockets on the side, bigger, add a purse, add a lock and key, add a chain, and then can you make that instead? Mm, no, just when I showed you, it's just, I made it. <laughs> Ooh, y'all gonna help me get the haters today, I know it. I gotta make a joke of this, cause I, I'm trying to understand, cause I'm not that person, like I wouldn't do that. If you show me your thing, I'd be like, yo girl, boom, 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 boom. Yo, that shit is bad. Like, that's me. Like, I'm that person. I, I pay $3.50 for a bag. That's why I, I pay $1.50 for some sneakers I ain't never seen. And God dang it, come to me with your... I ain't never went in nobody's shop and been like, yo, I went, yo, yo, I went in your shop. Yo, girl, your shop is beautiful. I love everything. Skirts, pants. But do you have... Did you see it? Huh? You don't see it. It's... I don't know. I, I I appreciate the artists for the artists. I love art. I always have. 
But even in the Tibetan shop, it didn't matter where I go, like I'll be like, oh my God, didn't, oh, this is beautiful. Yo, sis, this is bad. It was my sister friend that I was, the other designer. She was the first person I knew that walked in the place and said, I like that, but can you make it like this? And then she would just redesign the whole thing back. And the people would do it, and I'd be like, oh, I never thought of doing that. She was like, oh, yeah, I do it all the time. I was like, oh, I, I like this. I mean, that that's what they birthed. I want it. Anyway, anyway, I'm preaching to the choir, by the way. I'm just trying to talk some grown woman-ish. And that grown woman-ish is integrity. That grown woman-ish is saying it and meaning it. That grown woman-ish is educating those that don't know. That grown woman-ish is not being afraid. That grown woman-ish is not, it's okay you're going to lose some people because you said you can't make everything, only what you got. I birthed certain things and I'm giving you my, I'm giving you all my babies. I want you to have it and I want you to love. You don't have to love every piece, you're not going to. You're not going to. Every piece won't be for you. But just because it's not for you, like I'm telling you, most of the stuff y'all be asking for, y'all can go on Etsy, they got it, I'm telling you. Etsy has some beautiful stuff too. You just put in dashiki dress or whatever you say you want, I guarantee you they have it. You know, let me tell you about those dashiki and all of those kinds of dresses. That, especially the dashiki, you see it in Ross too, so I mean, you know, just should tell you a little bit, something about there. Those are a dime a dozen here. That's like what you'd sell to people that it's almost, and somebody help me out what I'm trying to say about it. It ain't nothing big deal. It's almost like it's, it's like it's not, I can't how do I say it? It's like a hustle. You hustle with those. You go get the tourists who you think don't know nothing about Africa, but a dashiki. That's what that is. That's all. I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with it. I'm saying it's cute, beautiful. But I'm saying that so I'm giving y'all inside. That she can hear is like you sell that to the tourists. I don't really ever see the Africans wearing that dashiki print too much. Not that they wear them with African clothes anyway, but that's the whole nother story. That's why another video. We're not going to go there. It's reasons. It's okay. Batakari. Oh, yeah. That's very, very Ghanaian. That's real deal holy field. Ankara, yes. Special occasions, real kente. We're talking about real deal stuff. But the dashiki, that's not really the dashiki. Or whatever it is, the Angelina, whatever. It's like a hustle thing. So this is the only reason why I don't want to bring that to y'all. It was like the mask. The mask I have in the kitchen, very nice, right? I mean, they're cute. But I, it was somebody else that brought them to me. I was like, well, is this a new? Okay, well. And then when he said, oh, I could get hundreds of those, I knew that it was a dime a dozen. And I was like, oh, I told him, oh, a dime a dozen? No, I don't really want to sell these to my people. I don't think they want a dime a dozen stuff. I, I'm not a dime a dozen girl, so I can't give you a dime a dozen stuff. It just ain't going to mess. I'm not going to rest nicely at night. But what really got me was one girl said, one of the young sister, sister uh, one of my comments as a viewer said, hey, that, 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 she said, that mask you got in the kitchen, those masks, she said, yeah, I was going to buy some that on my way home, they sold them in the airport. See, when you hear they sell it in the airport, that's a good indication it's a dime a dozen. It's like chosky, what do you call it? Stuff that, y'all better help me out with this word. That's y'all really just don't understand. You, buy, you sell to the tourists. That's it. It's not real. It don't have no soul. It's just a way to sell something to tourists. Why would I come to Ghana to do that? We got enough vendors in the States that can get that stuff too and they already sell it to you. Why, why would I do that too? I don't see how I'm winning here. I don't see how you're having any advantage of me being in Ghana if I can sell you the same stuff that I would sell you in the States. I'm a human being, y'all. So I'm growing as well. I'm not as impressed. I mean, Ankara is beautiful, but I remember, so hush my own mouth. A year ago, I was talking about the African designers who are being hired to work in these, you know, European uh, fashion houses. And basically, the article was just saying, you know, you know, Africa is more than kente, mud cloth, and Ankara. That is what it said. And I was like, da 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 da. 
But yeah, as you become a designer, you want to use some Elmer's glue and some toilet paper and see what you can make with that ish. Okay, what I'm saying is, yeah, your creativity is through the roof. For me, it's important to have the African, whether it's a solid color outfit like this, but it's done strictly by the Africans. It is a dyeing, a tie and dye. We say tie dye. They say it's actually tie and dye. And a batiking that is specifically African. That's what I'm talking about. That's African. Or that I'm using the Ghana colors, which you'll know I absolutely love. But I'm bringing, but, and, but, it, and, but the leather is from here. The artistry is here. All of it is done by hand, even if it's by the machine. It's only two brothers and one only does this stuff. That's Africa too. It's the spirit of the people and the artistry and the, and the making something out of nothing spirit. That's what it is. The symbols and all of that are very African. So African is more than mud cloth, mud, mud cloth, kente cloth, and Ankara in that these are African brass and the house of people being the brass makers. That's African. So I said, oh, brass is from anywhere, but these ain't from anywhere. These are from Ghana, West Africa, by that one house of man, the few that they have. You got to understand, it ain't no business like us. You just want to learn that you do it. This is by a certain people that, that, that has a lineage that does this kind of work. That's what you're buying. Not Joe Schmo that don't have a connection and ain't in the lineage. He wasn't born with his clothes on. That's when you're born with the thing. When you, anyway, let's forget. This is very meaningful to me, y'all. And it feels like it was passed down. It was like, my mother's a designer and my daughter's a designer. She's a graphic designer. My mother was a fashion designer and I'm right in the middle of that. That's a lineage already. It's not about the money, but I will never devalue it. I'm not going to see Gucci and the rest of them charging this and people running. Like my sister said, she told me the keychain was hundreds of dollars, if not more. So I know I don't have to devalue it, but why devalue Africa? We've done that enough. Everybody's going to take from it. Let's give. And let's appreciate. Because we're, we're valuing ourselves as African people. So no, I'm probably, if you've seen it, you know what, the capes that everybody loved, don't get me wrong, the capes are so cute. When I first got here, I thought I loved them until I seen them every goddamn wear. Thank you, Shannon, too, for saying that. She said, told this great story about the Target dress. When I saw them everywhere, I was like, ooh, I don't wanna see. That's why I, bought, I got about, I had six, four to six, and I gave every last one I even wear. I was like, ooh, now they, they're not unique and different, but they're cute and I love them. Now, I can make you a cape. It won't be that one. i tell you that. I got a cape coming. I got a cape. I got, so I, am, I got a cape coming already for the for winter. That's not the cape I would make because I everybody got. I'm trying not to sell y'all something everybody got that they just trying to hustle these capes because that's the new thing. It's not new anymore here. So it's, nobody even has the capes now because things come and go fast, real fast here. It's like fast African fashion. I'm not lying. So I, I, I couldn't make it. And I loved it, that jewelry I first bought in war and I would have made another one. I actually would like to make a symbol that this, this, this particular shape, and I wish if, I, if the sister would allow me, I would love to do a remake, but let me show you. I want to show you this, because it's, it's bad as heck. I love it. It reminds me of something from the 70s, and I'm going to actually remake it. It reminds me of something from my mother. Actually, if y'all saw my mother, my mother has a, a, a she had a, you know, my mother used to model here and there, so fashion design and a model. She had these model pictures, and she had earrings very similar to this, but actually she had this whole outfit. But what I feel like now is very 70s, this whole kind of situation. But these earrings are, if you can see it right now, look, you got all the white, you can't see it now. Gorgeous. Loved it. I love these. So I wanted me to make them, and I said yes, and I said no, because I didn't make them in the first place. They're absolutely gorgeous. Now, I can have my man make this, 
I could have my man remake this so that it will be something special and something different. This is a bad earring. I absolutely love these earrings and I would love to, I know I can go back to where I bought them where they were already made and get them, but I would like to be inspired by these and make something like this. Some things too, like I love and oh, sometimes I'll be like, oh, I wish I made that. Like, you know, oh, I wish I said that, you know, but I, some things I got to realize I ain't make it. Let me just enjoy it. But I know people's like, well, you're there. Can you get me some of those? And the idea is it's far and it's a lot to go through. And I got to go through 500 people. So you got to pay all these people off to go to this and take and the language differences. I got to pay for people. No time thing I ain't tell you. This price you're paying is also for, I got to pay for translators, escorts, taxi rides back and forth. Communication is a, is a, a one, one of the other things as well. Cultural protocols, all kinds of stuff that goes into what you get. But I would love to, I'm going to see if I come up with something that I could, well, I won't say remake them, but it's be inspired by them. Because this is very, I understand, so this is a beautiful, but if my man was to make it, because he didn't make it in the first place, if he was, to, but his, the, he comes from the town of people that make it, because it's the house of people. And the town is it's a certain town that the house of people live in, where he lives. So they make the jewelry. This place comes from a bigger place, but if I can get him to make a, a rendition of this, it won't look probably exactly like this, because he's not that man that made that last one. So we'll have to see how, you know, I'll see what I can do. So I just wanted to ask you, be patient with me that I'm trying to figure out how to say no or when to say no. Sometimes I might say yes. I had one woman, she didn't even put no money down. She just told me what she wanted and she would pay me on Friday. And it was like whatever day, maybe it was Monday. And it was, she asked me a certain color and how she wanted it. And I said, yes. Do you know about it? I think it was the end of the night, if not the next morning. I didn't even wait long. I said, you know, I so apologize. I can't do that. That's not what I was feeling when I was thinking about the bag. She was living. She was so mad at me. She was like sending me the, the emails that I said, yes, I'd be happy to make it. But I, and then I thought, you didn't even pay for it. Like, you didn't even put no money down. Why are you so mad at me? But I understand people want what they want. But I, I got to have what I want. So. If you don't see it on the website, or I didn't offer it, and you seen it somewhere else, before you ask me, could I make that thing that you already have, I probably can. It's like two, and I love these two, like, but I forgot about them. I don't. I think he still has them, but I don't know, because things here come and go. I remember I used to sell the other man's bag. I used to sell the, the, the Senegalese leather bags, and I used to sell the other man's bag, and there's another Nigerian here that sells me bags. Now they all come to me and look at me like, is she gonna buy my bags or then you know, sell my bags for people? And I just been honest, I say, I make my own bags. Now they can see I make my own bags for them. I'm not gonna sell nobody else's bag on their own. Not because I don't want nobody else to get the money. I'm not thrilled about selling your bag. I'm thrilled about selling mine because mine is my creation. I'm not thrilled about selling yours. So it's kind of hard to go back and get. Some of y'all, the stuff y'all got, somebody else will get it Some from my else. You, they, you, they, you, I can't get it again. So if you got something, and you're, I know people love to say, you know what, let me give you her website. This is what she offers, but that was somebody else's bags. And, and to be honest, those bags that a lot of people like, it's not one, but all of them do it. They make one thing, everybody copies. That's what Erica's saying, it's true. They all copy. So you, know, you, you will never know who the original person that did anything. You will never know. It's not this bad, it's just that's the way it is. It's bad, some don't like it, but you know. So, you know, with me, somebody might copy it, but at least my man ain't gonna make it. Cause he, he's worked with people on the outside. He, he likes creativity and difference. He wants it to be different too. He wanted, he creates stuff too that people would copy. And he's like, you know, hey. So he do different things and knowing that they can't do it. So I'm just saying, it was a long thing and I, I'm just being grown. I'm, I'm hoping that me understanding, I'm just looking at this thing going, how we gonna go? Me understanding who and what I am, maybe will help you to look deeper in yourself and just decide if you're being clear. And if you're not being clear, get clear so you can be clear, people. Know you're going to lose friends, customers, co-workers, employees, employers, but you will gain yourself. And I'm telling you, there's great rewards in that.
great rewards. So, thank you for listening. I really do. It's a very high time, isn't it? Very high time. Hey, Nicole. You feeling the green today? Oh, thank you. Looking lovely as usual. Thank you, all of Afrocentric Home Design. Hey, Sonovia, Miss Beverly. I love those earrings. Oh, thank you. The uh, black love, the black love, honey. Watch. When my, my, my beautiful man come up in here, you're going to be like, oh, wow, she brought it in. You know, it's actually going to be on the website. I'll put it up. It's going to be tomorrow now. I'm off tomorrow. I'm taking off. Beautiful day to you. I'm attracting love, beauty, great health and wisdom. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Hey, Lisa Marie, just tuning in. Yes, man. Hey, Wendy. Happy anniversary. 27 years to your man. I just got back on Facebook. I'm, I actually got back off again, but I wanted to congratulate you. That is so true, says Beverly. Hey, thank you. Hey, Africa. Greetings. Africa says 100. Beverly says yes. 100 says Alicia. Uh, Africa thinking, yes, rises Africa. I feel that I don't make the same thing twice in my business either. Come on, Whitney, that's right. You are growing in your craft. Thank you, Sonovia, definitely. Greetings to you. Hey, Autumn. Hey, Sheer, Sheena, Fitch, Fitch, Sheena, how are you? Sonovia, there's nothing better than doing business with someone with integrity. Yes. Hey, as Sheena, 52, says Sonovia. Nicole said, this is the collaboration that you've been working your whole life towards. That's right. Working with your daughter. Oh, my God. You're so right. Nicole, I just, Nicole says so much, and I need time to even digest it. We'll bring the highest energy. These, these cards can, yes. Y'all. It's like, how does she know? I mean, I know I'm her mom, and she came to me, and she, I thought, bro, she broke from up. She said, Mommy, that's the one card. I'm, I'm giving you the next one. I'm like, oh, my God. So, Nicole, you're right. Nicole, thank you for that. I just got to process it, too. Yes, it's all good. The sisters on this thread are vibing on a concordance. Yes, you know that frequency where you can just show up and get some things popping. Yes, Lisa Marie. Yes, Omi. Hey, Nona. Nona, be famous. Yes, Queen. Great afternoon. I'm enjoying this while relaxing at home. Candle burning, house clean, quiet. Ah, yes. Love your green fit and yellow nails. Thank you. Outfit is for sale. Thank you. Omi Finger says, laugh out loud. It is an animal. Yes, Mama. Yes. Winnie jo Joy says, I'm excited to see the Oracle cards. I'm always looking to grow my collection. Yes, sister. I think they'll, I know they're going to be phenomenal. Shock, uh, shock, shock kiss or knickknacks. Oh, yes, shock kiss or knickknacks or little dust collectors. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Nona. Yes, thank you, Nona. That bag is fire. Thank you. It's the only one of its kind, but I'm going to put it on the website as soon as I can get some more color leather, which apparently is kind of hard these days. I love knowing that the hands of the people of Ghana are involved in your clothes. It's part of the draw for me. Yes. Hey, Candace Green from North Carolina. Oh, you in North Carolina. Hey. I met you in North Carolina. How are you? How is, oh God. The, uh, I know his other name. I mean, he got so many names. I mean, but you know who I'm talking about. Remy? Rennie? How is he? Rennie. Rennie. I hope he's well. Hey, naturally. So yeah, y'all, um, you know, it's just, thank you for that because, and it's everything. They touch the, the head wraps, the jewelry, the bags. It is real people, something that even every boutique I shop that I never knew the designer, I'll never know her, I'll never know where they're from. Except for when you do the African clothes, a lot of times it's that person doing and making it, so. So I love y'all ladies. I'm just, I'm growing up just like you are. I'm on the same journey called life, just like you are on. I don't know everything. I'm, I'm getting better at it, but I'm getting better at speaking up and saying what I do or don't do without offending people and without feeling offended. Cause I know people just don't know. You know, spirit says something and I'm gonna just, I'm, I'm a dare to say it. Spirit said, it's not like, people don't meet a lot of people like you. Most people don't care that much about something. And you seem to care about everything that you do. Most people don't care that much. Like, I know sometimes people think, wow, it's got to be organic. It's got to be organic. It's, it's, I love green foods. I love natural foods. I love organic foods. It's a, a love affair I can't explain. I'm passionate 
and my heart is way open. And I don't make it just for me, I make it for you too. I make it for my sisters, I make it thinking of y'all, I make it thinking of how you can love it. Like, and then what's the really beautiful, this is when you really feel beautiful, that's the, we ain't do our little, you know, we got this whole routine together. When you create a skirt that really, is not just really, that turns out to be a dress. Like I was looking at this today and I was thinking, you know what? I don't really need to put a, I mean, you can put a belt on it, but you don't have to. Can you see this too? It can be splitted and have the big pants as well. But this is, look, the cut of this is, is beautiful. It's a beautiful cut. Beautiful cut. Beautiful just the way it is. Just the way it is. But it's a skirt. I, I designed it as a skirt, and it's still a skirt. It's still a skirt. It's still a skirt, and I wore it with this bag. This would I be wanting to get on. That's what we do. We do do. We have a lot of fun. We're like, y'all, let me show you what I got. Now we got our bag. I mean, that's a New York scene. That's a, I can see East Coast, y'all, walking down the street with your head wrap and your funky earrings, because I got so many. That looks so good. And then look, look, we can really, we can do green. Also, we've been doing green, because you know we got some. I know it's supposed to be green for tomorrow. Now, uh, uh, the green one, I think, I, yeah, I'm going to wear one of my green halter tops. But don't forget this, too. That's another design by Lisa Marie. That's so cute. The G, I mean, bag on the G, I mean, you ain't playing. You ain't playing. Then I wore my kick, so like I said, I'm looking at it going, wait, it don't really even need, I mean, it's cute. Then I wore my sneakers with it today. The Africans, yeah, they do be stuff me. I love your outfit, I love your colors, I love your styling, yeah, man. I'm going for it. That's cute. That's real cute. Now wait till we, yeah. Hey, y'all, I wanna redesign some things. Let me show you, I know you're gonna be like, oh, what, but I do. Anyway, I'm going to show you. I'm going to redesign it, and then I'm going to show you. But I just want you to know that my pieces are, you can, this is a skirt. It really is. I, I can't pull it down because that would be indecent. But it's a skirt. It's a very long skirt for me, but I turned it into a dress, and it's so long, apparently, that it looks fine as a dress. It has movement. It has natural movement. It's a wonderful, it's a, it's a classic piece. Now, I don't know, I mean, I, I don't know. I gotta look, do big breasted women, can, she, can they, do they wear two tops or this type of two situation? I'm not really sure. So I gotta think about that, how that works. I just keep doing it and then it just, you know, just happens. But I mean, I'm just thinking like, I was trying this on before because I'm really feeling my coat, my jacket, my caftan, whatever you wanna call it, Especially, I want to make other colors. I want—I got other styles and all of that coming. Like I never used to would think that this was my style, but I like this this too. The big coats and the, and the Cessa Wosuban and the G I mean on the bottom. But let me tell you what I'm gonna do with this one though. This one is gonna be a redesign. What I'm gonna do with this one, I'll tell you. I know what's missing. Just think about it. So you see this, the inside. That needs to be up here on the collar. Just on the, on the, from the collar all the way down, we need to have that inside on the outside. So it won't just be the color on the bottom and it feels just too dark up here to me. So if I put, if I take the inner Ankara and put it on the outer, then I think that would bring it some more, like it just would give it some balance. That's what I want to do with this. I was thinking of some of these clothes. I got to find places to wear. Maybe if I went out at night, I could. I don't know. But the nights be hot here, too. So, But, you know, this is what I want to do. This this is my life. Look, y'all. I'm a designer. This is what I do. And this, I decided that these here, I, I mean, you could wear it as nightgowns. I, mean, I want to show you this for real, for real. Let me show you this. This two-piece. This is my other thing. I got stuff. I, I finally got the perfect thing to do with this. The perfect thing to do with that 
little pretty uh, you know, structured thing. Here's this great for my necklaces and my hats, but I want to show y'all this. Because I'm really, I'm really getting into my spiritual to go with the cards and all the stuff. And we need our own spiritual clothes. So I've changed to me. I'm gonna have this in every color. I mean, they already are barely, they're not on the side yet, but I'm glad I waited because now I know what it is. So these are gonna be my altar clothes. If I'm dealing with the root chakra or I'm dealing with uh, a specific, even I was thinking like Queen of Fua, uh, Sekhmet, which I forget Sekhmet, which one she rolled things me that long, I don't forgot. But Sekhmet's color is red. And if you were doing your altar work, you can, I'm using these as altar dresses, the altar for your altar work. So this is what, because I do believe that when you do your prayers and meditation, that you should have something, that you should have something that you put on that's just for, remember I called it house clothes that I never wore outside? You should have something you put on just for your meditation. And it's gonna be other things coming. My group knows, please don't tell them. Uh, my group knows the other thing that's coming. And then these are the robes. These are the robes. These are the robe, the robe that goes with it. So I'm gonna show you. I love this robe. This robe is a bad piece. So the robe goes with the gown. But of course, you can see how. That's why I'm gonna say I'm gonna make more captain jackets. So if you are wearing this on a summer night and the, 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 your summer gets cool at night, then you'll have a bag like this. But this actually is the robe to that. This is the robe to that other piece, that, that, that gown. So then, you know, it's better. And then it has, I think it has a video reading of that. Piece. But I'm gonna make this, this is gonna be sacred gowns and the robe for your, your meditation. So you can have your meditation clothes put certain places and you're trying to bring in that energy, like you have certain altar cloths, you should have your, you know, correlating, if you will, color to go with it. So these will be made in every color. And then you already have, you already have your head wraps. You know, I mean, summer's coming and I'm enjoying it. That's why I'm getting us ready for summer. But that fall will come. So it's about gathering your sacred tools. What you wear is sacred. What you wear attracts, what you wear has energy, what you wear has vibratory frequency. And it's very important that you know that. So you know what you're putting out there. You know, if you want to gain prosperity and abundance, it's everything you do. So, yeah, I guess when you start, this, this is a nice way. Y'all would love this. That's the big this. And this goes with that jumpsuit that I have that has the sesso. It's one of my favorites, too. And this color is just a magnificent, it's a beautiful color. Love that color. So yeah, and those those new tops that I have, Nicole, if you didn't see it, I got some new tops that I, I showed on the Afrocentric. It didn't go with the, the pants and the sweatpants. And so I try, like I said, everything is based on what I don't have and I want and I desire. But this came out, and this was the, after yesterday's meditation. Yesterday's meditation said, take that dress, that, that skirt, and wear it as a dress. And so it's both. And then we are this bag. I knew this bag. Was, I was gonna sell this bag, thinking that we were gonna get, thinking that we were gonna get a lot of, uh, that we were gonna get all the colors easily. Hold on, y'all. But it wind up being that we did not get the colors easily. And I'm so glad I didn't sell it because I wouldn't have had one. But I want to get one because a lot of people want this one. The most I'll make is seven, so I'll make maybe six more. It's just seven for y'all. We'll see if I can get that. We might not. I mean, the chance of the leather, the color is it's very hard to get. It's very hard. So like I said, when you got a color bag, consider yourself lucky. I'm still waiting for the color bag that I paid for, one like this one, because uh, I, I paid already, so he's got to get the color, so he's doing his best. So, But I'll have, a, I'll have another one of these being made. This is the blue indigo with the purple. That purple is, whew. let me show you this. That purple is, Yes, and look, I sold the, the wallet already, but this is, this is the phone case. 
That's a beautiful bag. It's a cosmically beautiful bag. They all have different, they all have different interior. I, I picked the, uh, the Ankara too, but I'm gonna do some real luxury ones. But let me tell you what's coming next. Nicole's bag, Nicole, your bag is gonna be fire on fire. So, but yeah, this is my pretty, I kept one. I sold one, I think I sold one, I only had two and I kept this one. Thank goodness, because again, you know, when it comes, I'm only gonna have one more, I think. And that, absolutely gorgeous. And then this one right here, although, yeah, I guess that one's for me. This one was one, my second, I got the first one where it's all green, mud cloth and the leather. But this one is the leather, and I love when the leather gets old. People are right, it gets more character. It starts to become, it picks up your energy. So the leather picks up your energy, not just your oils, but your frequency as well. Now these, all the green ones, somebody just come in today, and if you watch it says, yes, I can make you a pyramid one with the green. The green fabric, not hard to get. I got a lot left, and the leather is easy. So anytime you, this green, whether you want it all mud cloth and leather, or all leather and mud cloth like this, very, very easy to do. But let me tell you the remake. Nicole, and I'm just so happy. I'm so happy, Nicole, you're gonna get that one. Oh, okay, that was an earring. So my sister requested this pyramid bag, and this was my, I'm gonna say one of the originals, the first one that I ever put the moonstones on the bottom. So these are moonstones as feet. That was the first ones, and then somebody requested not to have it, and I, I kind of stopped, but I'm gonna see if I can get the moonstones. This is the first one with the tassel. This was basically, this is the second design, but these are the, the but this one I, I kept for me. But I can make these, cause I, can, I got the mud cloth and I got the leather for those that want that. But this is one, this was my, y'all, this was my, I know we got a long video. Thank you y'all for having fun with me tonight. And just to those that stay. This was the first one that I had swore I would never show anybody. I only show Naturally Clever and my other sister, Cheryl, and I showed them on a private video. I was like, I, no, I think I showed it and I took the video down because I knew it was ready. This was the, this was the first pyramid bag. This was, I don't think, I think these are way bigger now. Yeah, these are a little bigger. This was the first pyramid bag. And this is the pyramid bag that I'm making for uh, Nicole. Oh, Nicole, oh my God, Nicole. We, it's gonna be beautiful. So it's cow hide. This is the real, this is real. I love it, my, my, my uh, bag man says, this is real African. I said, it is real African. It's got the cow, it's gonna have a cow hide. It's gonna be the same size as those because that's our new thing that we make. This is Cuba cloth from the Republic of, God, of, of the Congo. Republic of the Congo. And it has the cowrie shells. So I still got more left. I was like, I don't know where it is. I asked Ben, and he said, I got it. I said, oh, thank you. And we are, we tried things. We, we tried to close it this way. So this one went everything. If this wasn't, we didn't have the closure on the side because this one wasn't, this one is floppy. All the rest is harder because this was our first one. So we knew to make this more, more stiff because it was easy so things wouldn't get lost. This one didn't have the side. That was the second day I came back. So after he made it the first time, I took the same bag and said, let's do something else. This one was raw. It wasn't wrapped with the leather. The, the, the handles were all, they were raw wood, cane. It was cane, and it was raw. But this one, then we came back with the leather. We didn't have the sides, then we came back with the sides. And everything else, and on the bottom, these are the original feet. That, that brown leather feet to me is still kicking. So this one I will never sell because this is my first one. This the one when he made it, I, I laughed and I said, well, you did exactly what I said. And I called it the teepee bag because I felt like it looked more like a teepee. But you don't know how many people want this one. They want to make it, but Nicole's getting it. And Nicole, guess what, Nicole, because I forgot. Because he said, oh, and you want me to make, right? Because all pyramid bags, all pyramid bags, this one didn't. This was some idea that came. Oh, this one, too, there was no side pockets for people who were talking about their cell phone. And I had a, a little Wi-Fi device, so I created side pockets. We don't do this anymore, so don't ask for it, because you don't have to do it. We, so I asked for uh, these on the side, in the inserts, but we don't do it, and it's better. We actually just give you... Every pyramid bag comes with a phone case, a phone case, cell phone case, and a wallet. But Nicole, you about to have, 
I want what you get. I'm, I'm going to give me some. I want, I, I want one. I need a new one, man, because this one is not for now. This is mine. You know what? I'm going to use this as my medicine bag. I just thought about it. This is going to be a medicine bag. But anyway, you getting the wallet and the phone case. You're going to have a cowhide. I'm scared of you, girl. I'm scared of you. You're going to have a cowhide wallet and a cowhide phone case. Don't hurt them, girl. Don't hurt. This is luxury, and this is your fur, baby. This is your fur. Holy cow. Anyway, husband look. But well, I want you to see this version. Hers will look a hundred times even better because, again, this was our first. This was the one that started it all. Oh, yes, because he was like, I was like, oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, you got to make that, too. He on, he on it. And we have all the materials for the cow high. The cow high, I promise. First two, and I got to do this in the car, I forgot. Cow high, any cow, it's not the leather, but somehow it's the cow. It's the hide. I got to go to this place. And they take a piece off and they get it. You got to have it tested or whatever. And then you got to have a certificate when you mail it. So I got to remember, Nicole, that I'm going to have to do that. But that's not going to be a problem. And we'll go to the place. And we'll, uh, I'll do that. So, yes. But Nicole's getting that. It's a little special. And uh, I cannot wait to have it. So this, is, and we're going to do all the same thing, the brown leather, the whole thing. It's a very beautiful, very unique bag. But wait till you see her version. It's going to be the same, but it's going to be bigger. It's going to be like he's perfected it now. He went from that one to, I mean, I don't know how many I made. And I really didn't make a lot of, uh, of pyramid bags. I got two more that are just the tip. These were my tests. These were my tests. So the first, this was the first test. Let me show you the second test. This was, sorry, baby. This was the second test. This was the second test. You can see this one. Again, this came right after. Hold on, let me know. I felt bad. The cow high started talking to me. Like, you gonna really leave me on the floor? I was like, oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm not. This is the second test. You can see this one. It has the real floppy. This one fold. Like, this is a whole, this is some whole nother thing. We didn't, none of the other ones do that because this was our test. This is kind of cute in that it does that, right? So this was, I, I did, I, cause I still, I didn't want the very traditional brown. So I got this one cause I feel like it's like stars. You know me, it's gotta be cosmic. I, I sound like Bootsy baby, but it's got to be cosmic. And this one, I specifically didn't want the leather. I told him I wanted the raw cane. It was a test. And then I wore this one and I noticed the stuff was like it was gonna fall out. So that's from here, that's when we started creating the board inside to be thicker so that it didn't feel like it would fall out. So this one is, this is, but this is really like, this is a whole spaceship in here. Come into this dusty, of course, but this is the spaceship, go into the spaceship. And this one was the regular feet. It wasn't, okay, so, okay, let's, so forgive me. So we had the cowhide, now we got this one. I say that I never will sell these because they were my first ones, but you know, one never knows. Oh, okay, no, before, I did the green one with the, I promise you, before I did the green one with the moonstones, this was the third one. Oh, I was looking for my mask. I need my mask. I don't wear it, but I do. I have to, but I haven't lately. I'm going to tell my body. Okay, this one here was the cowhide, then it was that brown one, then it was this one. And this one for a second was going to be my favorite. But then I, I started changing up too much. I just I took this and I had it in the front like this, the Afrocentral design. I didn't I don't like it there. So I said no. And then why, why, why did I try to put the inserts in it? Which then he had to do over and then messed it up because you could see it and I didn't like it. But it wasn't his fault. I told him to do it. But I had to try. And then I put these on the side. Put these on the side. But this was the first one I said, yo. We should do the moonstones here, but this doesn't actually work. It doesn't, it, it's too slippery, so it slips off, so it won't hold to it. So not a, not a, nice to look at, but not a good idea. And then this is where I did the first moonstones. Only this one had three or four in each of them, four in each one. That was the first time I added the moonstones. So these are the ones that sit on my shelf, and this is, and then this is, the first one when I thought he perfected it, I said, oh my gosh, you perfected it now. And that was this one. You see, this is harder, it is. 
you know, this is sturdy. It stands by itself. I mean, it's just perfect, right? But now I feel like he's making them better and better and better. So anyway, my house is a mess, but, you know, this is what I like to do. So thank you, ladies. I'm going to let y'all go. Tomorrow is another day. And uh, I just appreciate y'all. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Candace P. 